Have you been wondering how you can pull off a coastal grandmother style without looking too much like a grandmother? Well, I'm going to show you five outfits that I think look incredibly stylish without making us look as what others have traditionally thought of as a granny. But firstly, let's look at what exactly is a coastal grandmother style. Well, the coastal grandmother style was originally coined on TikTok by an influencer called Lex Nicoletta. And it was meant to describe a wealthy, older white woman who lived on the coast. And she referenced characters in Nancy Meyer's films like Diane Keaton in Something's Gotta Give and Meryl Streep in It's Complicated. Now, I first spotted it last year and I thought it was a bit ageist. So I didn't pay much attention, but it seems to have been revived again this year. So I thought it'd be fun to see if I could pull it off. After all, I am a grandmother or a granny in my case and a Brit. So I don't know whether there is such a thing as a British coastal grandmother. Let's find out. So in my view, these coastal grandmother styles draw their inspiration from women like Catherine Hepburn, whose documentary I've just watched, by the way, and it was very interesting. So there's the mannish collars, there's the wide leg trousers, there's the wide brimmed hats. And there are also some hippie elements, I would say, in the coastal grandmother style. So there's the flowing tops and the caftans, which were then developed by Diane Keaton long before she was in any Nancy Myers films. Because if you think about the loose fitting trousers, the mannish collars and the wide brimmed hats, well, she was wearing all of those in Annie Hall. And then I wondered whether I had any clothes in my wardrobe that I could put together to create a coastal granny look here in the UK. I long to live by the sea and I spend quite a lot of time in Aldborough, a lovely little market town in Suffolk. And a coastal granny outfit would fit right in, weather permitting. I mean, let's face it, most of us will have been wearing some kind of coastal grandmother outfits for some time. After all, if you're like me and touching 70, you'll have lived through the hippie era and you'll have owned a cheesecloth blouse or two or a kaftan and don't pretend you didn't. So these types of outfits are not going to be revelatory to you. So let's recap on the key elements or aesthetic requirements of the coastal grandmother look. There's the widish trousers, there's the wide brimmed hat, linen fabric or similar, loose fitting shirt and flat sandals or Birkenstocks and not too much colour, so relatively tonal. Now, why is this aesthetic so suitable for us women touching 70? Well, it's all about comfort and style, which is my motto. The wide leg trousers, perhaps with a drawstring or elasticated waist to make us feel more comfortable. The linen fabric, which is nice and breathable. The hat keeping you from getting too much sun on your face. The loose fitting shirt when you're feeling a little bit heavy. And flat sandals or burkies to help your feet breathe. So I've sifted through my wardrobe and I've come up with five outfits that you can wear on five different occasions which I think represent the British version of the US coastal grandmother style. Oh, and I'm gonna use my spring summer capsule wardrobe fact sheet where I've got four types of occasions for where I need to get dressed, but I've added an extra outfit here just to show you how versatile I think this look is. Now, most of the clothes are very reasonably priced and most of them are from Uniqlo. And I'll list everything down below for you in the info box. But the idea behind this video is to show you that you can probably dress coastal granny style from clothes that you've already got in your wardrobe, even if you're not an actual granny, and you will look stylish and comfortable. So the first outfit is a blue linen dress, which I would wear to work at home or stay at home and be able to pop to the shops in. Although, to be honest, I could wear it to the beach, although unfortunately there isn't a beach here where I live in London. But it's a really comfortable, breathable dress made of linen. It's nice and loose, but not too loose. So it's got some style. I really like the collar element to it. And I think pairing it with the hoop earrings, the straw bag, if, if I do pop out, and the Birkenstocks give it that real coastal granny feel, but still looking stylish and put together. I've also added sunglasses. And by the way, I will put the details of my sunglasses down below for you. I absolutely love this sunglasses brand called Expressive Cherry, who are a female founded, very small brand based in the UK. And I have been gifted three of their pairs of sunglasses but I'm not being sponsored by them. And I have bought two of their pairs of sunglasses with my own money as well. And I absolutely love them. So this is a look that you can happily wear at home or where to go out if you need to. So outfit two is for a day out or a night out, maybe in the local pub, hopefully in their garden. 
and it's cream. I've gone for a sort of monochromatic look here. And like I said, these are all clothes that I already had in my wardrobe, which I've just put together to try and create a coastal grandmother look. So we've got a linen shirt from Uniqlo. We've got linen trousers, which I bought from a brand called Oisho, which is part of the Zara group last year. Again, very reasonably priced. And we've also got the straw hat, which I've had for years and I really like it. I just think the brim is just the right size for me. Not too large, not too small. Covers my face and the back of my neck. The trousers have an elasticated waist and of course the Berkies again and I think this outfit shows that you can do a coastal grandmother look and dress a little bit more formally. Now the next outfit is even more formal and this is something that I might wear to the office. So here we've got a white cotton linen v-neck jumper paired with some black elasticated pleated waist trousers from Uniqlo, some Berkies and some Sunnies and I think this looks really good. It's got the coastal grandmother aesthetic but it also looks much more formal and particularly adding the black bag as well. I think this look would work really well in an office or for some formal occasion that you needed to go to. And if you wanted to dress it down you could ditch the black bag and use the straw bag and you could also wear a t-shirt with the pleated trousers instead. But because I'm still going to the office twice a week, I do need to look a little bit more formal. And so I think this outfit works very well while still referencing the coastal grandmother look. Now, this outfit could also be worn for day or night. And you might argue that this isn't really a coastal grandmother look, but I'm trying to use up the clothes that I have. And I think it is a little bit less flowing than the others, but it's still got the baseball cap. It's also got the stripy jumper, which I do think... If we think about Catherine Hepburn, if we think about the Nancy Myers films, they tend to be based on the east coast of the US. I think I'm right in saying that. The blue and white stripes are definitely referencing that sort of aesthetic. So here we've probably gone a little bit more preppy. And I think some people have talked about the fact that actually there is something of the preppy about the coastal grandmother in the US. So I think using the stripy jumper with the white jeans, the baseball cap and the white t-shirt still keeps the coastal grandmother aesthetic, but makes it a little bit more preppy. And finally, we've got our date night outfit for our coastal grandmother. And here I've got black linen trousers and a black linen shirt. Now the black linen shirt, it's one of only two new items in this video. The other one is the black pleated trousers. Now this shirt is actually from Oisho, not from Uniqlo. And I really like it because it's a little bit more oversized. However, I decided to tie it at the waist because I think it gives it a bit more shape and a bit more structure and a bit more formality for an evening out. So we've kept the black Berkies. We've brought in the black handbag just to make it a little bit more formal. And I think it looks like a really great outfit. The only thing I might change, but I don't actually own any at the moment, is get some different sandals, maybe with a block heel. But, but otherwise, I think this outfit keeps the coastal grandmother aesthetic while looking smart and ready for a night out. So have you got any of these coastal grandmother elements of style that you can use to create a coastal grandmother look from your wardrobe? And more importantly, would you want to? Let me know in the comments section. I hope this video has been helpful and fun. And if it has, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And thank you again so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. It really does. And I hope you're all doing really well and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.